So probably the craziest day in music history um, online in a long time uh, just happened. Um, Linkin Park, uh, who in 2017 temporarily disbanded after Chester Bennington unfortunately passed away, um, they had recently been teasing a form of a comeback, but nothing was ever set in stone, and they didn't really elaborate on it for quite a while. I mean, we got a few songs and snippets, and we even got an unreleased song from the last album that Chester was on uh, that didn't make it once it was released in 2017. Um, but overall, there was it pretty much just seemed that they were done, that Linkin Park was over. Um, but that changed um that changed because they um they're back they're back with um quite a major big change it feels like a new era it kind of feels like it kind of feels like a new band but it's it's still the same band overall um emily armstrong is the new lead vocalist for lincoln park um of course, filling in the shoes of Chester, who is not ever replaceable, but she is succeeding him, which, honestly, I am cautiously optimistic about this. This is genuinely one of the, it's one of the riskiest decisions that has been done in music. I mean, it's very hard to imagine Linkin Park without Chester Bennington. And that was why, for seven years, it was just assumed that that's it. Without him, it's over. Um, and to a degree, that kind of... There's a lot of water to that. But overall, this does feel like... I feel like this could work out. And the song that they came back with is what really gives me hope for this. Because the song The Emptiness Machine is their first single back following, you know, years being gone. And first off, the song is, it, it smacks. Like, it's it's so good. But not only does it smack, I actually think it's, it genuinely feels super fresh. It feels like a Linkin Park song. And it also feels like, brand new territory it kind of feels like a rebirth to a degree and the new female singer um which that too was a bit of something that might not have worked out but it actually worked out really well in my opinion so far i'm cautiously optimistic because we're gonna have to wait until um until november when they drop their next album but their first single um I genuinely think Emily Armstrong is a good singer, and I think she works well with the formula. She's not like Chester in the sense that I don't think she has the same vocal reach, um, especially when dialing it back for the more low tones that Chester did. Um, but this is more of a punk rock grunge singer, and that's not what Chester was, so I, uh, I kind of get that, and I actually sort of like the fact that she isn't similar to Chester Bennington in that regard because trying to replicate what he did not only is it impossible it would have felt very insulting and just gross um so what she does and what I think she does well is she really complements what was good about Chester and she also brings her own sound to the table which is really really well um I like her more grungy, uh, raspy, and scratchy, rather nasally voice. It really works well, and it is sort of a breath of fresh air. Um, and there's a lot of potential with her in the band, and I do look forward to when uh, the album From Zero is released on November 15th. I'm, again, cautiously optimistic. It could very well not be a good album. We've only gotten one song. But if it's like that single, I think there's a lot of hope. There's a lot of potential. And, you know, I I know that Linkin Park 
as we knew it it it's not gonna come back we cannot get that back but i think that it is very very possible to continue the legacy and hopefully from zero and hopefully emily armstrong can do that so let's hope for the best <laughs>